Hello everyone, I'm Kia Hasegawa. Today I would like to talk about Nihonga paints. The main paints of Nihonga Japanese style paintings are Iwainobu, Suihienobu, and Gofun. Pen name Iwainobu, mineral pigments are made from crushed natural ores and stones. For example, Gunjo, traditional blue, is made by Azurite. Yokusho, blue green, is made by Malachite. Shinsha, red, is made by Cinnabar. These natural pigments have been used for over a thousand years. We still use it in the same way, mixing it with Nikawa, which works as an adhesive. There are also pigments made from grinded corals and indigo plants. Since these natural pigments are rare, many colors of Iwainobu are artificially produced to supplement the natural pigments. These new pigments are called Shin Iwainobu. When the stones and ores are crushed into powder, they are sorted by the size of the particles. The number shows the size of the particles. The smaller the numbers are, the coarser and darker it is, and the bigger numbers show the finer and lighter. If you go to an art supply store, which handles Nihongo materials, you will see all the colors of beautiful mineral pigments displayed in bottles on the shelf. This is Gofun, mainly used as white paint. It's made from eatable oyster shells or clam shells. Characterized by the fine particles which produce a smooth matte texture, Gofun is frequently used in many processes in Nihonga. Here are Suhi Enogu, which are made by soil or by dyeing Gofun with colors. In many cases, they are used as base of Iwainobu due to their characteristics being fine, easy to spread, and inexpensive. They are also easy to mix compared to Iwainobu since the size of the particles are consistent. Iwainobu Gofun and Suhiinobu itself has no adhesive properties and it has to be mixed with Nikawa which works to fix the pigments on paper. You have to make colors individually on these dishes, Ezara. I will demonstrate how to mix the pigments with Nikawa and to paint Iwainobu in another video. Thank you very much for watching and see you again.